Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, I'm well. How are you today? I'm all right. Thanks. So this is Couch Talks. This is what we've kind of created over here at DKX. Everyone's stuck at home on the couch. So we figured okay. we might as well just start talking to people since we all stuck at home, right? All right. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. So how are you? How, how is your spirit through all of this craziness? Um, you know, there's definitely a lot going on, you know, a lot going on. And uh, so we are taking it uh, a day at a time, being prayerful, being mindful, um, looking for the good that we can put out into the world, uh, limiting our intake of uh, chaos on social media and the media. You know, you got to watch what you're intaking, what you what you what you're feeding yourself. Yeah. Um, you know, and standing with, uh, you know, of course, standing with 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 everybody who's uh, who's on the on the front lines as far as COVID-19 is concerned and everybody who's on the front lines, you know, Black Lives Matter. You know, I think there's a march today. Yeah. Uh, Al Sharpton is going to be, you know, uh, uh, leading or speaking at, you know, so there's definitely a lot going on. So 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 for people like um for like you and I, and I'm being presumptuous because I can just kind of like feel it, but like for people like like you and I, this is our time, you know, to let uh, our light, yeah. you know, our light shine. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because we, because we, you know, we, we, we sound good when we're talking about spiritual things. We sound good when we're talking about how to live a, whole, a holistic life. But this is, the, this is, this, the times like these, okay. when it's tight, you know, that lets you know, you know exactly where you stand who you are you know and 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 what it all and how it all breaks down for you you know so we have to be an example to other people because they're looking to us you know to you know to give them encouragement and to help them you know navigate through this so yes that's a long answer <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was true everything about it and that's what i mean your album dropped today love always wins and i feel like that is just kind of the underlying message through all of it is yeah. like really just like sh like showing your light spreading your light and because the to me the main light that we can give out into this world is love that's it. So i feel like this album was like so needed during this time it was like everything just aligned perfectly you know yeah, you've taken like uh, you've taken a little bit of a break from us, so it was like divine timing that you came back at the right time. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, what yeah. else have you been up to during all of this this quarantine? Have you taken up any new skills, or have you just been writing a lot? What's been going on? Been writing, been uh, recording, finishing up the album. Uh, I'm at home at our at our home uh, on the south side of uh, south of Atlanta. So, my wife and I we're newlyweds, so I got married in November. Congratulations. We have, uh, thank you. We got we added two more kids to our brood of five. Um, so there's uh, an 11 year old, a, a three year old, and a 10 month old running around the house. So oh my goodness, yeah, there ain't never they ain't never a dull moment over here. Not but, at all. Well, yeah, we appreciate yeah. you taking the time with us because I'm sure you got everybody running around in the background right now. Yeah, they might. They might. Yeah, they might. They might. Well, uh, tell them to come on too. They can come say hi if they door. want to. Yeah. Kids all family yeah. here. That's beautiful. So you're down in, in Georgia then. What is, um, what's the plan for going back to school? Are you just doing um, homeschooling now? Um, the, uh, the, uh, the only one that's in, 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 in school proper is the 11, 11 year old. She's in the fifth grade, sixth grade. So uh, they're doing virtual learning so there with exactly. she's at home she's upstairs on the on the computer now you know so I'm crazy i don't have kids i've just been seeing my friends post their kids like laying yeah. off the table like just <laughs> tired how she adjusted yeah. so far oh uh, pretty good she's 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 uh she's a sharp sharp girl so yeah she's you know it's cool i think there's there's an, an element of not being able to leave the house that's you know that's troublesome. I mean, we leave the house, but I mean, not being able to go and, you know, and connect with your friends and, and do all of that and, you yeah. know, show off your, your new school clothes and your, right. and, and your backpack, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, right. sit in the lunchroom and all that stuff, you know, she's, she's doing okay. All things considered, you know, we're yeah. blessed. Oh, beautiful. Well, at least you get to spend this time with your family because, you know, if you drop the album, probably out performing and such. But at least, I mean, yeah. you're newlywed. You guys, like, literally just made it with the wedding before everything shut down. Yeah, absolutely. That's a blessing, yeah. too. So how has it been, you know, being married but, like, kind of stuck in the house? Um, It's cool. Unless you, like, I, I got the right one, that's for sure, because we ain't... Because <laughs> <Good. laughs> we're, we're doing all right, you know. We're doing all right. And we got enough... We have enough space 
to come together and love on each other and enough space to disperse <laughs> what we it's need to. Necessary, which is also necessary at times. <laughs> yeah. So I was listening to the album and it just sounds like, to me, it just sounded like a whole dedication to your love for her. And it yeah. was just, just so beautiful. But I really, I'm just, I'm being nosy. I want to know how you guys met and like how this beautiful love just came about. We actually met at a at a show here in Atlanta. That's the reason I'm in that I'm in Georgia, right? Because I I have a my base is is, is actually in Detroit right, right? or has been yeah. traditionally. Uh, but uh, she's from Georgia. She came to a show in twenty in twenty fifteen, bought VIP tickets to uh, to to have a meet and greet with me, and um, and 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 the rest is history. Which has no. never which has never happened because like I've never you know I don't you know. I, you know, I, that is you know. So, that is amazing. You guys need to make right. a movie about that. It, it it show. Because, right. you know, I got some skills still now. <laughs> yeah. And my, my, my nickname for oh. it is meet and, is meet and greet. <laughs> I call meet. it meet and greet. <laughs> that is <laughs> good old good old meet and greet. Got a brother tied yeah. up, you know. And it uh, must have just been like sparks on like first sight because I'm sure you have like you meet tons of people at your shows meet a, and of, meet a lot of people uh and uh this is the you know the first time that uh you know nothing like this has ever you know a, a relation a, nothing like this has ever happened for me on the road i've been doing this almost 20 years so nothing is you know nothing has ever happened like this so yeah so once i was in i was all in it was like steamrolls wham bam bam you know and uh you know and now look at me <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Five five years later, married a couple other couple you know two more kids you know uh, moved across the country you know my whole life is has 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 been transformed and that is reflected in the new music it's definitely reflected all of those songs all of the romantic songs on the album yeah. were inspired and and are and are dedicated to her so. Yeah, you know. and the writing on this album is just so beautiful. I, it really feels like you get to take a peek into your love life of how intimate the lyrics are. Um, I almost feel like I was like listening to a poetry book, which got me thinking like, have you ever written like a book before? Have you ever just, this, this, I don't know, tried something like that? I'm working on uh, a book right now uh, on, on the first half of my story um, and uh, you know, we're working on it right now. It's my part of my homework this weekend is to is to read the latest draft and uh, and get back with uh, with David. David Ritz is is writing it with me. Uh, you know, famed celebrity author. He's done everybody from you know Ray Charles to Aretha to Lenny Kravitz. You know, so it's 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 in the works. It's in the awesome. works. I can feel it. I just well after you do your your memoirs, we need a poetry book as well because it's yeah. just like. Your writing is so beautiful, and it's it's just so personalized. That it, it's yeah. you can tell that it's coming from you, but it feels like it's meant for each individual listening to it, which is like very beautiful. You don't get that too yeah. often in music, you know, anymore. And the the features that you have, because uh, you know we've been playing "Lie to Me" for a few months, and we're like we love that song. Well, let me preface it with this story first, because I don't know if you remember. Part of me doesn't want you to remember this story, <laughs> but you came to Rochester. Oh, damn, like 15 years ago now, I think it was, for a music festival. Yeah. And yeah. Um, <laughs> the stage manager put you on first, not knowing that you were there for your sound check. Do you remember that show? I remember being in, we've only been to Rochester maybe two or three times. So I remember, I remember, okay. I don't remember all the details around it, but yeah, I remember okay, being good. there. I'm glad you don't remember the details. I'm kind of a little hesitant to remind you right now, but we um the stage manager put you on as one of the opening acts when you were supposed to be headlining and he got we showed up to the festival my father and i because you know this is a family-owned business and we got there and we're like what is kem doing i was like we're like is this his sound check and she's like no i put him on and we were just like um no what are you what are you doing and you were just performing like it was literally a personal concert at that point because no one had even arrived yet and you were singing your heart out you were giving a full performance regardless of who was there and i will tell you right now like i will never forget that moment my father will never wow. forget that moment and literally you could put out a song singing the abcs and we will put it on air immediately because of your professionalism and your your dedication to your art it will it just has always stuck with me for all these years and i just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for really just 
for giving your all and just being a true like artist through and through without because you know I've, I've met so many people who the ego comes before the creativity and I, and I never experienced that with you so I wanted to thank you so much for that well thank you I, thank you I, I appreciate that yeah it was it was, it was, nice. it was an interesting experience but so we've been playing your song lie to me for a few months now and um it's, it's such a beautiful dedication to your wife as well, which is from what I'm hearing. But then I saw in the writing credits, it's with Anthony Hamilton as well. How did that collaboration come about? Yeah, Anthony, said, Anthony actually sent me the song uh, probably shortly after I, I, I met my wife. He sent me the song, but I didn't. He sent it to me in 2015 or 2016. And then when I met my wife, I sat down and we had conversations about our relationship and about how we wanted to move in our relationship. And, uh, and, uh, and then I started writing to it. So it's, it's, you know, his, his Anthony's part, their part was, is the hook. You ain't got to lie to me. You ain't got to lie to me. I'm, okay. and, and my part is everything else. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. And another uh, beautiful collaboration. We actually just, started playing this song uh, with Tony Braxton uh, yeah. this week. It is so beautiful. So d have you guys worked together before? Uh, the song was Live Out Your Love, but how did that the duet, because R&B needs some some duets. So I was really happy to have this come up. We, uh, my, my wife is, Erica is a big Tony Braxton fan. So I took her to see uh, Tony in Detroit for Valentine's Day last year. And Tony called me on stage, which, you know, which I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we share yeah. a man, our manager, we have a, we share a manager, uh, her manager, right. Kenneth Creer is also part of my management team. And, uh, and he told me before the show that Tony wanted to, Tony, Tony wanted to know if you wanted to come up on stage. And I told him, no, I don't want to come up on stage because I want to be prepared to sing what I, you know, like we have, what is she, you know, what are they singing? So I was like, no, but she called me up anyway. And, uh, which you know, which which was very cool, and uh, it ended up being a, a great musical moment. And from that moment on, you know, I wanted to to find something to uh, for us to work together on, and uh, live out your love is 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 the birth of that. And um, uh, I you know I can't be more more grateful and more humble to have such a legendary uh, vocalist, entertainer, artist, you know, producer on on. on my album Tony's fabulous and uh uh you know love to hear her sing she could sing anything dude she she, she would text <laughs> she would send us you know uh versions of it I just want to make sure you know that I'm going in the right direction and like you're cool I'm like dude ah you, whatever whatever you do right. we're good you know what I'm saying whatever you do we're good you know she's been in the game a long time she worked with face and uh you know she knows how to how to make records knows how to move around knows her way around the studio so you know, so I'm really happy about that. And I'm glad you guys, you guys dig it too. Oh yeah, for sure. It's like I said, it's what R&B needed. I feel like we haven't had a, like a duet, like a really bomb R&B duet in a while. So this was right on time. And it's with two R&B legends. So like, perfect, you know? Yeah, you. <laughs> but you know, when people are listening to this album, um, what, what, what do you see people doing? Is this an album that you should be sitting at home listening to when you're by yourself? Is it an album you should be listening to while you're cooking? What, when should people be listening to this album? When you created it, where did you envision people listening to it? Um, wherever, you, you know, people listen to my music. People listen to my music everywhere. You know, they listen to it cleaning the house. They listen to it going to work, coming back from work. They listen to it in chemotherapy. They listen to it, you know, at their weddings. They, you know what I mean? So, I mean... Yes. You know, it's 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 music for every place, and I believe that it's music for it's music for the times. You know, yeah. um, my hope is that this this album, that this collection of songs is is part of the uh, the soundtrack. You know, that helps pull people through. You know, these unprecedented times that we're living in. So, is if there's someone that maybe doesn't feel the love right now in their life, what song would you recommend they start with on the album? Um, lonely. I would have them start with Lonely. Lonely, Lonely is, you know, Lonely is, is, is one of those songs that really, you know, it, it touches, it touches on, it touches on the, on, on the pulse of, of like where I think people are right now. And, uh, um, you know, it talks about, uh, well, you know, y'all got the record. Listen to this. Listen to this. Right. Right. I listen to it. Um, I listen to it. 
it's funny. That was one of the songs that stood out to me. It was a little but bit different from each of the, from the rest of the album because it yeah. really spoke to the person that was like longing for something. Right. You know? Right. And the whole album, you know, and the whole concept behind the album is not to give up, is not to give up on love, you know, no matter what's going on and no matter what you see, we all have one thing in common. And that is, you know, that uh, we love somebody mm -hmm. and somebody loves us, you know, and regardless of what's going on or what's happening in the world, what comes and goes, that will always stand. So that's really the, you know, that's really what we should be leaning on during these times. Yeah, I love that. Was there a yeah. song that you are most excited for people to hear on the album? Probably the last song. Uh, Erica what Campbell? Is it? Can't Stop Giving Love? Yeah, yeah, I want you to hear the whole record, right? There's not a, of can't stop giving love. <laughs> can't Stop Living, Can't Stop Giving Love is the fastest song that I've ever recorded, you know? And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy about that, about that song, you know, and I think it'll bring people a lot of joy. But the whole album, Erica Campbell's on Love Always Wins, which is a very inspirational, very gospel-esque, um, yeah. you know, again, talking about, you know, love being, you know, what we're, the, 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 the main reason we're here. That's what we're here to do, you know, and, uh, and we're here to demonstrate love not only when in times of comfort and convenience, you know, but it, but in times, you know, but when it's tight, you know, really, how if your love can't stand when it's tight, then 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 I question the, you know, I question the foundation that is built upon, you know. So, uh, you know, that's that's the whole album is is filled with 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 that, you know. Uh, so I, I hope you guys dig it. Oh, we do. And what I was, because I was listening to this morning before the interview, and it's, of course, it has like the R&B foundation through it, but then I also feel like a little bit of disco, a little bit of right. gospel. It's not right. just a one straight line kind of thing. You can really feel how it branches off into, it touches yeah. into different genres as well. So I, I was that intentional? Because I was like, I was starting to dance a little bit. I can't remember the name of the song now. I was like, this feels like a disco song. I like this. Right. Yeah, that's Can't, can't Stop Giving Love. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. so it's, yeah, there's a little bit of everything. There's some country on there. Friend Today is another standout on the record. The guitar. I love that. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot. There's a, there's a lot on this album. And I think it's suited to the way that people are listening to music today, you know. Yeah. Uh, and songs can live anywhere. You know, they can live anywhere. And I'm not limited to, although I love r and I'm not, I'm not limited to, you know, my, my musical palette is you know, and at this stage of my life, I should be expressing myself musically, you know, in all the ways that I want to express myself musically. So, you know. Yeah. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think our audience will thoroughly enjoy it. But my last question for you before you head on and celebrate this day that your album came out. When, you're, when your wife first heard these songs, what was her reaction to it? Oh boy, get out of here. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know? Yo, right. That's nice, but you need to go clean the garage out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good though. You gotta have humor in a relationship. <laughs> that's beautiful. Well, hopefully we can get you back up here in Rochester when everything clears out, so you can come and we can do a, a proper performance from Chem because it is it is needed up here. We need to spread love, you know, everywhere. But in Rochester, we need it. So we would love to have you back up here. We got your songs playing where where we just got the album Love Always Wins on repeat here at DKX. So um, hopefully we can see you back in Rochester very soon. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for uh, spending time with me today and you guys be blessed and stay safe. And uh, until we're able to see each other connect in another way, you know, be good. You too. You have a wonderful right. day. Congratulations right. on Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.